Hello, this is Steven with DoorDash with another video. This one's called DoorDashing Sucks. And it's all about why DoorDashing sucks. One, DoorDash does not pay. They'll want you to go seven, 10, 30 miles and they'll pay you two, three dollars. So you're relying on the kindness and generosity of customers on their tips and guess what? They're not gonna tip you barely anything. Customers have the audacity to be like, hey, uh, can you bring me my food? Uh, do a cartwheel uh, when you get to my house. Uh, go onto the roof, go through the fucking chimney, and then hand me my food, and then hand feed me my food. And then I'm like, well, are you gonna give me a tip? And you know, what, do I get a tip? Yeah, here's your tip. Go to school, suck on my tip in my pants, and fucking get a better job. Fuck you. I've also noticed that the rich people on Rich Buttfuck Hill don't tip at all. They don't tip. Maybe they'll give you 50 cents and a fucking coupon for a Gatorade. It's the goddamn poor people that fucking tip. When you get there and you fucking give them their, their, their food, they will probably give you maybe $2, $3 in cash. Or they'll give you an extra tip later. And that's the poor people. Customers are fucking stupid and they expect you to be like Santa Claus and know exactly where they live and exactly how to get in their apartment. You'll go to a fucking apartment complex, right? You'll go to an apartment complex and there needs to be a code, maybe to get through the gate. And then you call them, hey, uh, you didn't give me the code. Oh, uh, I didn't know I had to. Uh, okay, can you, uh, can you just, can you, go, can you just go through the gate? Uh, I don't, I don't have the code. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. No, I'm not a fucking ghost. I'm not Casper. No, I can't just go through the goddamn gate. You have to give me the number. Oh, okay. Then they get mad, especially apartments. Especially apartments. Usually apartments. You know, you get there, and then you're like, uh, okay, um, so where's your, you know, they won't give the apartment uh, building. They'll just give the apartment number. And then so you have to call, annoy them. You can't find it? No, I can't find it. I don't know where you live. I've never been here before. Of course I don't know where you live. And then in a little description, it'll, it's supposed to give details. When you enter the gate, press 4456, enter, make a left. Yeah, okay, so you have to write a little bit. You make a left, my apartment's 4484, you go up the stairs, but no. What do they say? They just say, hand it to me. Hand it to me. No directions, no nothing, and then you're gonna drive around like a fucking idiot, fucking driving, looking for that apartment complex, wasting time, wasting money, and then, eventually, you finally give it to them. You went through all this trouble, you spent half an hour looking for them because they didn't want to answer, they didn't want to text back, they don't give you a tip, and then what are they gonna do? They're gonna call DoorDash to complain about you to let them know you took too long. Again, just to bring this back, DoorDash wants you to drive seven, 10 miles for $3.50. And it says there may be a tip, which means you might not be getting a tip. The thing on the tip, the, 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 the amount may be higher. Oh, no, it's usually not. 350 is 3 fucking 50. And these people do not consider uh, that your DoorDasher, um, you're using your car, which is going to have to, you know, is going to break down. It's going to break down eventually. So you're going to need uh, money for that. Well, you can kiss uh, DoorDash helping you with that shit because they are not going to fucking pay you enough. Um, you know, they were. They were, that, you know, I used to get a lot. As soon as I signed into DoorDash, I was already getting. Uh, orders. It's so slow now and people are fucking stupid. They're like, well, I better order, uh, I better order, uh, from, Do from DoorDash because I don't want to, you know, I, 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 and don't, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want you to touch my food. Just leave it at my doorstep. Leave it at my doorstep and don't talk to me. Okay, dumbass. 
All right, there are people that are making your food. I'm wearing gloves, gloves and a fucking mask and a damn heat bag to keep your food warm. Okay, I'm not the one touching your food. You want me to stay 30 miles away from your fucking food, but you have other people that probably are not following guidelines while they're wiping their balls making your tacos that I'm fucking delivering. Just got yelled at from one from one customer, one bastard. My fucking and the DoorDash app doesn't work usually, so it told me two miles. Everything, the whole to get the food and bring it to the customer, that was two miles. It was over fucking eight fucking miles for seven dollars. Eight fucking miles. I wouldn't fucking take my best friend two miles fucking for fucking seven seven dollars. What the fuck? So so they don't answer the call. They don't answer the phone. They don't give me any directions. They want me to stay away. I call them when I arrive with their stupid groceries and they don't answer the phone. They don't text back to leave me where, leave, leave where, tell me where to leave the food at. So then I eventually, I just put the food down by the door. That's usually where it goes. If it doesn't say hand it to me or a special location, usually leave it at the door. The guy yelled at me because I left the food at the fucking door and didn't put it on his table with all his bullshit. How am I supposed to know? And I'm not going to get a tip. Definitely not. Door dashing used to be a pretty cool job. You know, maybe you didn't get tips. But if you did enough door, you know, deliveries like 17, you know, I used to make about $100 in four hours. And now it takes me 12 hours to make 20 bucks. Because DoorDash wants to pay me a dollar to go from California to Mexico and the person that's ordering on Buttfuck Hill wants to give you a tip, which is, hey, go fuck yourself. This is why DoorDashing sucks. This is another video from Stephen Ng signing off.